Hey guys, today I'm going to be building a very simple DIY air filter box fan. So simple in fact that all we're going to use is a 20 by 20 by 1 this one is a Merv 8 furnace filter and a good old Losco 3733 box fan. No tape, no cardboard, no screws, no nothing. Just these two ingredients for this simple little project. This I can't really say this is a build because all we're going to do is slap this filter on the back of the fan and hope that the suction of the air is going to keep it there. And that's pretty much it. Now I've been thinking about getting one of these air filters for my workshop for a little while, but I couldn't justify spending, you know, 30, 40, 50 plus dollars on a, a desktop air purifier unit. So I figured I'd just make one myself. This is a pretty common project that a lot of uh, people like to make. Just taking a furnace filter, slapping it on a box fan, and they'll work at a pinch. Now, the reason that why I've been trying to get one of these um, air filtration systems for the workshop is because there are some projects that I work on that just kicks up a lot of dust. And even though I'm not really affected by it, I'd rather not have the dust floating around in the air. So just to keep the dust level under control, um, I figured I'd get one of these systems for the workshop. So this is a very simple one. We're going to, um, I, I, don't, I don't even want to say build, but we're going to put it together and maybe run some crude tests on it, see how it does. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so I've seen numerous variations of this project. Some people like to put the filter on the back like this, or sometimes on the front of the fan like that. Now, I saw this one video of a guy who compared the performance of if you were to put the filter on the back versus the front, and he actually found that it works better if you put it on the back of the fan. Now, I don't know how scientific that is, but the reason why I'm going to put it on the back of the fan is because it helps keep the the dust out of the motor because if I were to work on a dusty project behind the fan I wouldn't want the fan to suck up all the dust and get the blades and the motor all clogged up so this also helps and also has an added benefit the suction of the air will just kind of suck the f filter up against the back of the fan which is great because then I don't have to use a tape or screws or anything like that because this fan is not going to be a dedicated air filter Fan. I'm going to sometimes use it just as a fan, so I want to wait to be able to remove the filter without, you know, peeling tape off or undoing screws. So this is it. This is all we're going to do. We're going to plug it in, turn it to low speed because <laughs> you guys know that this fan needs feet. It, it will tip over on medium and high. So I'm going to keep it on low speed. It does seem to move a lot of air, uh, enough to at least um, suck the air through the filter and not tip over. So. Let's plug this in and give it a go. Alright, so we're going to just start the fan up on low. Now this 3733 is unusually fast, so even on low it's already moving, I would say, more air than a lot of typical 3733s on a medium. So we're going to take this filter and quite simply Stick it onto the back like that. Now you might have heard that the pitch of the sound dropped a little bit, but that's to be expected because the air filter does put a slight load on the motor because it restricts the air. So there it is. That is literally it. Um, this being a smaller fan compared to my vintage box fans, the filter does not um, go below the level. I compared it with some of my older box fans which have a larger frame and in that case it doesn't make a good seal around the edge. So there's a lot of air that just gets sucked in without going through the filter but this being a smaller fan it works a lot better. But obviously it's not perfect and there are some gaps that will let the air through. I do feel quite a bit of air just getting fed through the filter which is a good sign. So if I were to be working on a project that I know is going to stir up a lot of dust, I'll probably set it up right here behind the fan and let all the dust just get sucked through the fan and filter. And I think this will work. This uh, Burp 8 rating is good for uh, most household furnaces. It will catch most contaminants in the air. Nothing super fine, but anything that I would 
here up in the workshop. We should be okay. Okay, so the first test I want to do is to check the airflow pattern around the fan and just to see how the air behaves around the filter. So we'll check the back first. I have a little strip of paper here. Hold it up to the filter. Check the corners. So there is a good amount of air going through the filter, which is what we want, of course. Enough through the motor as well to keep it cool. So it's not a high velocity air going through the filter, but we do have a large surface area to work with, so that does make up for it. Now here's one weak spot, the corners, because we haven't sealed the corners. So there is quite a bit of air going in from the corners not a huge concern because, like I said, this is supposed to be a really simple system that would just take some dust out of the air. Let's check the front. So to be expected, we got air coming out of the fan. But how about the corners? Wow. Ah. So there's actually some air getting sucked into the fan from the front and the corners. And that's because the fan blades have a circular geometry, whereas the cabinet has a more of a square geometry. So there is some empty space in the corner, in each corner where the fan blade does not reach. So that allows the air from the resistance of the filter to instead just go from the front, circulate behind the fan blades, and come back out. So another weak spot on this fan for this design, but hey, it works. It's got good airflow from the back. I would say that works quite well. It's good enough for my needs. I'll shut the fan off. Now because the filter is not attached to the fan itself, this is what happens when you turn it off. <laughs> but it shouldn't be a problem. Did it trap the dust? Yeah, it's alright. So anyways guys, that is the DIY air filter box fan. Well, I know for sure that's going to be really practical around the shop because there are going to be projects that I'm going to work on that will require an air filtration system, unless I do it outside, of course. But anyways, that is it for this video, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!